Hello and welcome to the STML for training with hands-on sessions. My name is Andre Barata and I'll guide you through all the trainings. Let's discover STM3012 for and its peripherals step by step using HL library and system workbench for STM32 free tool chain. This training introduces the ultra low power STM32 microcontroller family series. It starts with the presentation of the ARM Cortex M4 core and architecture, on which the STM32 MCU is based on. Then we will explore the memory organization, reset block, interrupts, and all peripherals, such as IO ports, ADC, timers, RTC, SPI, USART, I2C, DAC, and low power peripherals. You can also expect a small session for low power modes. However, all low power modes, as well as sound audio interface, Face are covered by different online trainings called STM3204 Workshop MOOC. Please refer to these trainings if you are interested in these topics. Most of the theoretical presentations are combined with practical hands-on examples. You will be able to start up a new project and use the software and hardware development tools provided by ST. Each session briefly explains the theoretical background of the topic and includes a practical hands-on session to give you a short introduction for each peripheral. The practical part of the session starts in STM32 CubeMX. This software tool helps us to generate initial code and set up the project. Each step is clearly explained and demonstrated and after the code is generated it will be opened in System Workbench for STM32 IDE ready to start coding our application. We are expecting a minimal knowledge level of C language. Typing C can be simply followed. When example code is ready, we will guide you through the debugging process to show the result in the best suitable way. The LEDs available on the L4 discovery board are often used to demonstrate the behavior of the application. We also provide live demonstration videos to show the expected results. In case if something goes wrong or if you would like to test other peripherals and features not covered during the STM32 L4 MOOC online training, we provide a full set of completed projects ready to be imported in System Workbench for STM32 and those are located in STM32 CubeMX repository. Projects can be found in the folder related to the topic. We would like to highlight the presence of examples using communication peripherals handled by interrupt or in low power modes. Please follow the path STM32 CubeMX repository STM32 cube underscore FW underscore L4 and the latest version. In this location are stored the examples for all our L4 evaluation boards. Migration among L4 boards is easy due to our HAL library and its portability. As for hardware development platform, we selected the STM32 L4 7.6 discovery board which offers a wide spectrum of peripherals. Thanks to the assembled external components on the discovery board, we are able to work in our hands-on sessions with peripherals as USB, Quad SPI, LCD and many others. The board also embeds a ST-Link debugger, so we can easily debug our program without the need of an external device. We will need a USB cable type Mini-B for debugging, and for the USB hands-on example, we will additionally use a USB cable type Micro-B. For low-power hands-on, we will need a multimeter with current range below 1 microamp. It is required to have admin rights on the computer to successfully install the tools. Before we proceed with the training, it is mandatory to download and install the current version of the required software tools. Firstly, we need the integrated development environment. In the hands-ons, we will use System Workbench for STM32 developed by ST and our partner AC6. If you prefer any other IDE which supports STM32 devices, you can use it as well. All hands-ons are based on our CubeHL library. Thus, we will use STM32 CubeMX which generates the initialization of the project with the required peripheral settings. Don't forget to download and install the latest HAL package for L4 device. For more information concerning STM32 CubeMX tool or HAL architecture, we can refer to the online course called CubeMX and the Cube HAL Basics, which explains the topic in more detail. 
For proper communication with our board and debugging, please download STM32 ST-Link Utilities application with ST-Link driver. All software tools are free of charge and download links can be found on ST website. If you are interested in more of our products or you wish to obtain more knowledge in the other STM32 families or its ecosystem, we can recommend you to browse and attend to other online courses we have available. Extracted from our portfolio we have the STM32 CubeMX and CubeHAL Basics, the STML for Workshop MOOC which contains additional materials not covered in the training that you are about to attend, this online course deeply focuses on sound audio interface with a quite complex hands-on. We also have an advanced course called STM32 F4 Hands-On Workshop which provides complete overview of the STM32 F7 architecture and new peripherals. Links to the mentioned online sessions can be found down below. Enjoy and now let's get started with the trainings.